Hey, everybody. Um, all right. Welcome to the live. I'm Angel B. This is Angel B Designs. If you are new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Um, so today, well, let me just start off by saying that um, this is not like a structured tutorial. This is a live where um, it's, you know, it's interactive. I talk to the chat, I answer questions, I, you know, crack jokes, laugh, all those things. Um, it's not a step-by-step -step tutorial. If that's something that you are looking for, please head on over to my channel where I have more structured tutorials that are um, typically, my tutorials are like 20, 25 minutes or less, more roughly. tutorials. Let me turn that down. Um, but hey, everybody, and thank you so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. Y'all, we're doing some bling tonight. Um, so we're going to do two bling designs. One is going to be this one. So this, I did this design last week in SVG, and now I do have it available. I mean, I did it in, um, it was an SVG file, but it was, um, I did it in puff, puff and glitter. Um, I do have the rhinestone template available now. It is SS10. I don't have SS6 right now, um, but I do have it available in SS10. Um, just to, I'm going to use the same colors that I used on this shirt. You guys, I always test out my, my um, files before I go live just to make sure that they're right. Um, so I'm going to basically remake this same shirt that I have on and I'll give that one away. Um, I made one for myself and then I'll go ahead and give the one that we're going to make tonight. Um, I'll give it away at the end of the live. And then I'm also going to basically do a whole bling template from start to finish, not designing, but more so just like downloading from Etsy and cutting it because I always come on live with my templates already cut for the sake of saving time. Um, but I do get a lot of beginners on my channel who don't necessarily know how to get to that part where I already have the template cut out. So, you know, once the lives are over, I do get a lot of comments on my, the, like the replay of people asking me, how did you cut it? Because I've never blinged. And every time you go live, your templates are already cut. So I figured today I'm going to go start to finish um, in regards to purchasing your template from Etsy, downloading it, uploading it to your software, um, cutting it, making sure it's the right size, um, how I put it on my chopping mat or my cardstock, and then brushing it. But I do have this one already cut. So we're going to brush this in while our template is cutting. Our other template is cutting. We're going to brush this template in. So then we'll essentially have two shirts. The um, I'll give this one away. The one I'm going to do for the other one, I'm going to keep. Um, and then I'll give the I am black history away. Okay. Um, but I'm going to start off by saying hello to everybody because y'all could be anywhere else on this Monday night, but you decided to be here with me and I appreciate that. So let me scroll up. All right. So, hey, Tanya, how are you? To be young, gifted, and black. Hello, how are you? Hey, Marilyn. All right, no worries. Hey, Ethel and Sylvia. Hey, Elena. Hey, Demspo, how are you? Hey, Didi. Hey, Benita. And is that another Sylvia? Yep, another. Hey, Sylvia. Hey, Patrice Boo, how are you? Little Stitch LLC. Did you get your shirt from last week? Hey, Karen D. No worries. Hey, Lucille. Hey, Sharon. Thank you, Sharon. Hey, Louise. Hey, other Sharon. Oh, no, that's the same one. Sorry. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Martha. Hey, Donzel and Porgy. Hey, Judy. I always do this. I cannot see. 
and Creative Nations, how are you? Penny Smith, how are you? Hey, Daisy and Lynn, what are you guys working on? Hey, Asia. Okay, so you're new to Bling. This live is for you. I'm going start to finish. Um, most beginners don't know how to uh, make their own templates. So this is going to be like if you are a beginner Blinger and you're purchasing a, temp a template from Etsy. Hey, Shonda. How are you? And Yvonne and Sophia. Hey, Precious. Hey, Dorica and Marlene. And I'm scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Carla. Looking to see if I see any questions before we get started. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Lorianne. Yvonne. Lashonda. How are you? Thank you, Yvonne. Okay, perfect. You got your shirt. Hey, Michelle. Okay. Nope, I didn't mean to highlight that. Hey, Vicky, looking forward to the bling tonight. How different is getting from Etsy? So, um, Carla, I've never purchased a, a template from TRW, um, so I'm not necessarily sure um, their process. I want, I want to assume it may be very similar in regards to, you know, downloading and uploading, um, but I've never purchased a file from TRW. how to create a simple template. None of these templates are simple for me. Miss Joy, I say hello. Miss Joy's one, I said hello. Up at the top, I saw your name. TRW is, um, Uh, TRW is the rhinestone world. Hold on one second. Okay, never mind. Um, TRW, yeah, TRW is uh, the rhinestone world. Um, I'm just scrolling and make sure I didn't miss any, um, questions. All right. I'm going to, uh, go ahead and get started. So here's the, um, the rhinestone template that's on my shirt. I do have this one already cut. And actually, we need to get the other one cutting before we brush this in. We're going to brush that in while the other one is cutting to kind of, um, you know, try to save on time. Because I don't like keeping you guys here too, too long. So let me go ahead and pull up Etsy real quick. And then I'll share my screen. Thank you, Dems. I really appreciate you. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Okay, so this is like, when I go to Etsy.com, because I'm already signed in and everything like that. And I use Etsy quite frequently. Um, this is like my Etsy homepage, essentially. Okay. 
Um, so I'm going to go, I've already purchased my template. So I'm going to go to my account and I'm going to go to my purchases. And this is basically where all of my purchases are hosted. And this is the one we're going to be using today. This one is by Marilyn. I have been saying I was going to do this rhinestone um, template for a long time and I just haven't gotten around to it. But we are going to do Marilyn's rhinestone template today, which is the me versus me. And then as you can see over here, if you're even new to Etsy, um, this is where all of your purchases are going to be. We're going to go ahead to download files. And then um, this um, seller does offer two different kinds of uh, two different templates. One is going to be a regular. So it's going to be a solid. The, the word two words me are both going to be solid colors. Or you can do an ombre where it's going to be like a uh, half and half. Um, so what I'm going to do, I am essentially going to download both of them. But for right now, I'm going to download the ombre. Now, you want to make sure that you kind of pay attention to the name of the files. A lot of Etsy sellers who sell rhinestone templates, they will put all of the info, well, a good amount of information that you need in the name of their file. So this one is going, this is the Etsy rhinestones, me versus me ombre. That's the one that I want. This is the regular one. And this is the ombre. It says it right here. Um, a lot of the sellers will also put the size of the file in the name. That is very, very important, especially if you're using maybe Cricut Design Space to cut. I haven't used Cricut in a while. However, the last time I did, I do remember that the files were coming in the wrong size. So you definitely want to make sure you take note of the size of the template because you may have to resize it depending on your software. I know I'm using Leonardo Design Studio today. And I've never had any issues that the, the templates come in the correct size. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and push download. It's going to come up here. And then um, I am just going to drag and drop this onto my desktop. And then I'm going to open up Leonardo Design Studio. which is the software I'm going to be using today because I am going to be cutting with my Caesar Romeo. All right, so we're going to go over to design. Now, I have it downloaded from Etsy. Super simple. It's really simple to download it from Etsy. Now I'm in Leonardo Design Studio, and I'm going to go ahead and get my software and everything ready to go ahead and cut. The first thing I want to do is I cut my flock on a mat. Um, if you don't cut your flock on a mat, you can leave yours on material roll. I cut on a mat. I just have a better cut when I use a mat. Um, all my dots and my holes come off, which is what I want. I don't like to sit here and pick. So um, I'm going to switch over to cutting mat. Um, her template did have an outline as well as two different pieces for the ombre. So I'm going to assume I'm going to need a 12 by 24. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to import my design, which was on my desktop. Um, now, this is the file we're going to be using. So this is what I meant by the ombre. As you can see, she has a color here at the top and a color in the middle, a color in the middle, color at the bottom. So this, it gives an ombre effect. So for this template, it's going to be an outline. I'm going to use one color. The top part and the bottom part are going to be the same color. And then the two middle pieces are going to be the same color. And then the verses is probably going to be a different color. Um, but we are importing it to Leonardo Design Studio. I do want to do cut only. This is going to be a cut only file. And then I'm going to select next. Um, now, these are the colors that are within the file. I'm, I don't touch anything on here. I'm just going to pu push apply. And then um, I'm going to first thing I'm going to do is check to make sure my file is the correct size. Now, for Leonardo Design Studio, I know you guys may not be able to see it because it's so, so small. But when it first comes in, it lets you know the name of the file. And this seller does put the size of the file in her um, uh, file name. So I can easily just check right here. Let me see if I can make this bigger. So, no, once I clicked off, let me see.
Okay, so it says here 8.164, 8.164 by 8.394, 8.394. You can also check it over here under width and height. So my file is the correct size, um, which means I don't need to resize it. But what I do need to do is I need to ungroup this because I don't want all of my pieces to cut like that specifically. I do want them to cut separately. So I'm gonna separate the outline. We got one part of the ombre. We got the second part of the ombre, and then we have the verses. So I may very well have to cut on two mats, which is fine. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna have to cut on, I'm gonna have to cut verses on a separate piece. I have a small piece of vinyl that would fit perfectly for this. So I'm gonna move this off to the side for now. I'm gonna cut this. And then once this is done, I'm gonna add in that little small piece of flock. I've literally been holding on to this small piece of flock for like a year. And it's like, I finally get to use it. I've literally been holding on to that scrap piece of flock for like a year, but I feel like it would fit perfectly. <laughs> It would fit perfectly for that word. The, I mean, the, the verses. Okay. But anyways, I'm going to select all three of these pieces and I'm going to turn them black because I just, I do want them to cut on one mat. One piece of flock um, is going to cover the whole mat. And then I will manually cut it here and I'll manually cut it here. All right. Then I'm going to go ahead and send design. Now, when I cut my flock, I do like to have the auto weed box. It just, I don't know. It just works for me. I like it. I know some, everybody doesn't, but that's okay. I do. Okay. I'm just going to make these like a hair closer just because I don't want this to cut off my mat at all. Okay, so I have to move on over to my cutter. Let me grab my laptop and we are going to head on over there. I'm going to add in my... Um, my iPad as well. Just give me one second. Okay. Let me know if you all can still hear me. Um, can you guys still hear me? Can you still hear me? Yes, okay. Alrighty. Um so I was about to say something and I don't remember. I don't remember what I was about to say. You guys, my things never look right. My um, 
It's not what I wanted to do. Whatever. I'm going to remove that one. No, that's not what I want. I can never get my screen to look right, ever. Okay, well, I'm gonna just do. I'm gonna just do this way because I can't. I can never get my screen to look the way that I want it to look. Um, but anyways, um, so I'm going to cut out basically a full um mat of block, which is about 24 inches. And I got my pink, I'm using my pink block. I bought a big roll. I don't know if you guys remember when um, Heat Transfer Warehouse was out of block for like a couple months. They were out of block for a little bit. When they finally came back in stock, I bought the biggest roll that you can buy. So that I wouldn't run out. Mm. But um, I'm going to be cutting with my Caesar Romeo. I do have to turn it to the side. Um, I don't know, like last, it was like last month or maybe the beginning of, or in December sometime. I was having an issue where, like when I would cut on my Caesar Romeo, it kept going crooked. So what I did was I stopped letting my mat like kind of hang off while it was cutting and it stops going crooked. So I have to turn my Romeo like kind of to the side when I cut it. Basically kind of like this. So that while it's cutting, my mat stays on the table and it kind of stays level. All right. All right, so that's going to go ahead and cut out. While that's cutting, we're going to go ahead and brush in our other template. I'm going to go ahead and check to make sure there's no uh, questions I missed. Can we use the Caesar program without having the Juliet machine? You can. Um, so they don't like the export abilities. Like if you were going to use that software, I'm assuming you would need to the ability to export your artwork so that you could cut it with a different machine. Um, you do have to have the pro version in order to be able to export. So it's like $8 and 99 cents a month in order to be able to export whatever software that you have, or I'm sorry, to be able to export whatever artwork you have, if you're trying to cut with a different software. Um, but no, you don't have to. It's kind of like silhouette. You don't have to have the machine to use it, um, but you do have to have the pro version to export your artwork. When would you ever want a print and cut? So Carla, I would use a print and cut like if I were using the Caesar Easy Color DTV. 
Um, I will use print and cut if I'm using like a transfer paper or just like a print and cut image in general, then you would upload it with the print and cut operation versus the cut only. Do you design also? Lynetta, uh, yes I do. I don't do custom designs. Yes, I do. Can you use it without having that Juliet machine? The machine, yes, you can. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start brushing in our other template here. Hey, everybody that is in the bushes. All right, so here's the outline. For the outline, I'm going to use winter green. You guys, this is one of my favorite greens, this winter green. It's like a really rich green, but it's also very blinky. It's a very shiny yet very rich green. One of my favorites, I absolutely um, love this. Carla, you don't do a print and cut with bling. Print and cut would be like, I wonder if I have a print and cut image here. I'm gonna, I'll go check and see if I have a shirt that has print and cut on it so I can show you. Okay, I do have one. So this shirt would be a print and cut shirt. You see the all the letters have the images in them. I use this with like transfer paper. This will be a print and cut operation. The ones with the, the images inside of the letters. That's a print and cut. A print and cut is you have to print it out first because you have to, you know, you're not going to get vinyl that has these images on it. You would have to print that out from your printer and then cut it with your cutter. That's the print and cut. Hopefully that makes sense. These are the business edition that's needed to design. We should do that better. So, Lynetta, I use both. Um, as of right now, Caesar Romeo does not have a, a rhinestone panel. So, I can't do any rhinestone designs inside Leonardo Design Studio. So, if I'm doing a rhinestone design, it has to be in Silhouette Studio. Um, the SDGs um, like, that I use for a vinyl or for puff or whatever, uh, I use either one. It just depends on, you know, what I feel like doing that day. Um, but I can use either one. Patrick says that a rhinestone panel is coming to Juliet. I'm sorry, to Leonardo Design Studio soon. So when it does, Hopefully, you know, I can just continue to, well, I can just exclusively use Leonardo Design Studio, but um, as of right now, they don't have a rhinestone panel, so you can't do, you can't design any rhinestone templates in there. You can cut them. Sounds like somebody is in that parking lot. You can cut them, but you can't, um, Uh, you can't design them in Leonardo Design Studio yet.
I tried doing it with my cricket. I was just thinking in this nice space. What do you mean, Manisha? I haven't used cricket in a long time. And last time I did use cricket, it wasn't for rhinestones. So, yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So, story time. I broke two toes last week. Well, a toe and a half. I broke my toes last week. Um, I have a, um, did you say what color rhinestones you're using? Just for the outline, I'm using, uh, this is winter green for the outline. And then I'll show you guys the colors as I'm brushing them in. But this one is winter green. Oh, I need the pro part wants to be able to cut the flock. No, you don't need pro to cut flock. Ouch, 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 ouch. ouch. When I went to print the half a cell, the app was like, I didn't understand the command. Mm. That sounds like cricket. Let me let me not go on a cricket tangent because the last time I tried to get in cricket, it wouldn't let me. I think, you know, they know I'd be talking junk. Okay, but yeah, so last week I was moving too fast, like, you know, I often do. And I was getting a pot out of my <clears throat> cabinet and um, well, I was getting one from the back of the cabinet and I had a Dutch oven, the, uh, the cast iron Dutch pot, the cast iron Dutch pot, the, the big one is like a cast iron pot, not a cast iron skillet, it's a cast iron pot. And um, that thing weighs like 16 pounds, okay? It's heavy, but I love using it for like when I make a roux for either like a soup or my mac and cheese. Um, I love making my roux in it. So <laughs> I went to grab a pot from the back and the cast iron pot was in the front. And I guess I must have hit it or knocked it or something. And it fell out of the cabinet and I saw it falling and I didn't even try to catch it because I didn't realize my toe was right there. My foot, I didn't realize my whole foot was right there. Y'all, that mug landed right on my toes. The two middle toes, my second toe and the third toe landed right on my toes. It broke my second toe. And it split open my third toe. I had to get three stitches on my third toe. And my second toe looks like a Vienna sausage. My foot is like super ugly right now. <laughs> but yeah, it was a whole hot mess. Hot. Question I have an Etsy shop while I need to sell my t shirts. If you're using my design, Michelle, I, I'm assuming that's what you're talking about. Yes, if you use, if you're using my design, you can sell shirt with um, this design on it. You just can't resell the actual, uh oh, you just can't resell the actual design. Mr. McQuackens and Eve. Hopefully, I can hear my bell. And I don't have my cancellation on like Patrice. It sounds so loud though. Is that loud? The super chat for the baby too. 
<laughs> thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. Man. My porto looks like a Vienna sausage, and I'm not even joking. I'm not even, like, it sounds funny, <laughs> but I'm so serious. My second toe looks like a Vienna sausage. And it hurt. Oh, it hurt so bad. It hurt so bad. I was like, so I scared my my five year old was at home, and um, he my five year old is autistic. Um, so one thing about him is that he like if you get emotional in front of him, he will also get emotional. So if you start to cry in front of him, he will cry too. If you, you know, yell in front of him, he will yell too. He kind of mimics emotions. Um, so, <laughs> so when I, when the pot hit my foot, like originally I started, I was like screaming. I was like screaming, but I was trying not to like scream in front of him. Like I was trying to run to the bedroom so that I could, I guess, scream in peace. So... <laughs> So I wouldn't scare him, but it hurt so bad. It hurt so bad. I couldn't, I couldn't keep it together. And he ended up following me anyway. So like I would scream and then he would scream. And then my husband, and it was like perfect timing because my husband walked in the door literally like four minutes after I did it. So I started crying and then Levi started crying and then he basically had to like get him out of the room so that he wouldn't get like all emotional and stuff. But y'all it hurt so bad. It hurt so bad. I need to learn how to cut rhinestone flock on the Juliet. I tried to test and it was gigantic rhinestone holes of that flock. Oh Shonda, did you make sure that your template was sized? Um it was like the right size. And I ordered a big KTM mask for you guys. Okay. So I got to say good size. I finally caught you live. We're happy to have you. Yeah, baby, it was oh, out. It was bad. That was I don't know. I think I would rather. I think I don't think contractions hurt that bad. You know, I've had three kids. I don't I don't think having three kids hurt nearly as bad as that. Or maybe it was the same. I don't know. It hurt. Oh, I missed the hole right here. That's okay. I love the friendship of all the characters in my heart. Yes. We have an amazing community. I mean, even, yeah, we have an amazing community. We really, really do. If you're just popping in, this is winter green. Thank you, Paulette. Yeah, I, I like if I'm testing, uh, Shonda, if I'm doing a, um, a template that I don't, you know, I don't plan on using more than once. I'll use glitter cardstock. Um, it works pretty well for me. It's just that when you go to brush in your stones, you have to like tape it really good down to your table um, so that the rhinestones don't go underneath. But other than that, it works pretty well. Yes, I got the I got the uh the KTM match. I got a big roll too. I'm using this purple, I mean this pink block, so y'all know what what that means. A little gummy. How long does it take to do a shadow? Um 
it just depends on the template it depends on like i i like to talk and run my mouth so of course it takes me longer than it should but um to do what like if i'm doing let's say i was doing this design this one will not come out let's say i'm doing like the shirt that i'm wearing now and it was just like i'm just regular regular work it might take me about 30 minutes you know with no distractions or interruptions or anything Come on now, pink rock. So I got like three stones that would not come off of my template. So I'm just gonna have to um, hand place it. Tell them about the other thing. He's so petty. Why are husbands so petty? Why are husbands so doggone petty? When do we get to see the finished product? Um, when I'm finished. Uh, it shouldn't take me that long. Is your floor cut? No, it better be cut right. Oh, yeah, it is. It's um, see. Oh, I had to go check. I can't see them. I get to listen up. What's wrong with the pink flock? So the pink flock, um, when he turned the warehouse was out of flock for that amount of time, um, I, I don't know if they were like getting a new vendor or what the case was, but when the pink flock was back in stock, it was like the formula on the adhesive on the flock, it was like the adhesive had that gummier. So when you stick it to the chopping mat, the adhesive that's on the um, on the back of it, it tends to leave like these little strings like inside the holes here. So sometimes when you go to brush in your stones, if there's some sticky residue where the hole is, then it makes it so your rhinestone can't come out of the hole. So when you're trying to lift up your rhinestones with your KTM mask, it won't come out. I have only used ease from the baby's booty. Yep, her eat her um flock is really really good. I have some over there. I just also I have bought that big roll prior to uh our getting the purple flock. So I have both now. Because they have pink children. Yeah, 
Yep, Shonda, she has some purple flock. I've never had no issues with the gumminess on her flock. So for the red color, for history, I'm going to use, this is the red chrome. I don't have a big one yet, um, but this is the red chrome. Red chrome is really, really pretty too. Um, let's see. With this one, if you're using this template, these two, like if you put it on your chocolate mat like this, the way that I have it grouped on the file. So when you go to cut it, it was like yellow, yellow, red, red. If you leave them grouped and cut them like this, it will align perfectly um, if you brush it in the way that I'm about to brush in. Um, but you can stack your colors however you want. If you want to do yellow, yellow, red, red, or if you want to com completely switch around the colors and do yellow on the outline and then do green and red and green and red, you can do your colors however you want to do your colors. Um, you don't have to do it the same way that I'm doing it at all whatsoever. Um, for this one, I think I'm going to do... I think I'm gonna do red, yellow, red, yellow. I gotta get my other piece of uh, flock in there cutting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some painter's tape and I'm gonna block off this piece here so that I can go ahead and brush in my red. So it's gonna be red, yellow, red, yellow. Okay, let me go get my flock. Okay, let's see this coat ready. Let me bring, did you hear those sirens? My bad if y'all can hear the sirens. Oh, that got close. Look at that. Box didn't cut all the way through right here. I'm just uh, my exacto knife. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. I have one dot at the bottom. Right here. I got one nut right there at the bottom. Perfect. Okay, now I gotta get this on the chopping mat and we gotta get our other piece on. Oh, we're gonna get our other piece cutting. This is the mat that I'm using. I don't have it linked and I should have, I'm sorry. I think I got them from Amazon. I can link it before the end of the live. Just remind me if anybody needs a chopping mat. 
for shopping lists. But basically, the way I'm going to do it is um. I'm going to cut the outline off and put the outline and the verses on one side and then the two knee colors on the other side. Sorry, I'm not looking at the chat. I'm trying to get this template set up. Okay. So I have the, this is the top and the bottom, the inside and the inside. And then I can just take this off with some painter's tape. And then on the other side, I'm going to put the outline. And then we'll put the verses down here at the bottom. So the whole template will be on one shopping mat front and back. Okay, so I gotta grab my laptop so we can get to cutting the other piece. Sorry, y'all, I'm like moving the cameras around. All right, let me go back. I can go ahead and do, let me let me share my screen so you guys can see that. One second, because we're doing this for beginners, right? Right. Share screen. Okay. So this we have all of this cut here already. So we can go ahead and delete that. I'm going to switch this to a 12 by 12 mat because we only have this small piece here. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to my cutting board, my cutting mat. We're going to send the design. We're going to select send. And then I just have this small piece here that I need to cut. So I got my Cricut mat here. And I'm just going to add a small piece of y'all look at these little pieces of flock. I have been holding on to these pieces of flock for like months. Like just I'm like I'm gonna I'm gonna need them. I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna use one of these days. They're not looking at me. Use them. Four by five, as long as it's a four by five. Look at that. Mm -hmm. It's like a hair too small. Let me see. That should work. That should work. I'm going to do an area test real quick just to make sure. Yeah. And then we'll go ahead and send this to the cutter. What is going on out 
here. All right, we'll remove that. Okay, we're gonna continue with the brushing. And I'm gonna scroll. What is Clarence talking about? Something else happened to y'all, y'all should ask her. So am I understanding this? Is it basically you cut the file with the little circles and then brush the stone in and press it, but you need fog to do it, correct? Correct, David. So um you do so you, you cut it out, the little circles are basically your template, and then um you just pick them up and then you press them onto the shirt. But yeah, you do need the rhinestone flock or you can use cardstock. You need something that's going to be firm so that when you go to brush in your stones, like it's not loose and it, it needs to be firm enough for you to be able to brush your stones in. That's why we use the chopping mats or you can use like the glitter cardstock is firm enough for you to be able to brush in stones or something. It just has to be firm. Uh, Yep, that cutting mat is a 12 by 24 um, Lynette. On your shop, I see an item for 141 entire store access. Can you speak on that? I'm interested in mostly. I don't know what that is. On your shop, I see an item for 141 entire store access. Michelle, where do you see that at? Also, do you have a page description group? Lynette, I do have a um um a membership on my YouTube channel. Um, it looks like Patrice linked it to be able to join. Hey Delanda, how are you? Bye, Jesse. Have a good night. Norma, I'm so glad. It's fine. Sorry off the subject. I would be from family. Where can I go? Virtue's baby teacher for phone onesie. I don't want to be a copyright. Um tech time with T. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I hope it's nothing bad. Yeah, I don't. I hope it's nothing bad either. I, but I keep hearing them. I keep hearing the sirens like over and over and over. So I don't know. Okay, that little piece of flock is done. Let's see if that one cut. Oh, look at that. Look at that. No dots. Um, and I'm gonna put this um right on the back of this mat, right under the me versus me. I mean the the dial line. Okay, so now here is our full template. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. Now we can just brush in. Okay, I don't have that much red chrome left. So I think I have plenty enough to do this shirt though. But all we have to do now is brush it. Oh, I don't know. 
looking a little low. Is Clarence still here, y'all? Because I'm, I'm going to tell y'all what he want me to tell y'all. I need to make sure he's still here for proof. <laughs> Sorry, maybe it was someone else shop do you have Michelle? I do have an Etsy store, but um I don't the the entire store access item. I'm not I'm I'm not sure what that is. I didn't list anything like that. I don't know if that's something Etsy like does on there. I've never heard of that. Hmm. <laughs> Hey, everybody in the bushes. Okay, so my phone keeps vibrating. So <clears throat> last week on literally the same day that I broke my toe, we're talking about the toe incident still. So the same day that I broke my toe, um, well, broke one toe and then had to get stitches in the other toe. But the same day as the toe incident, when I said that, remember when I said that my husband was, he walked in like literally four or five minutes right after, what's her Etsy shop name? Um, Michelle, my Etsy shop is linked in the description box. And then I think um, Debs and Patrice did link it as well in the chat. But if you um, click out of the chat and go to the description box, you will see um, a link for it. But it's Angel B Designs LLC. But um, anyways, so same day as the toe incident, this like, like five minutes after I done dropped the pot on my toe, I'm laying on the bed, screaming, hollering. Um, my husband walks in like four or five minutes later. And basically he walks in with the keys to a new car. He was trying to surprise me. <laughs> he was trying to surprise me, but I broke my toe and he walked in to surprise me and I was screaming bloody murder because my toe was bleeding all over the place. Literally four minutes before he walks in with the keys to a new car, he bought me um the um the uh Cadillac Lyric the 2024 Cadillac Lyric but y'all ruined the surprise with my toe well the pot ruined the surprise I didn't ruin the surprise I didn't want the pot to fall on my toe obviously it was just a funny situation So I couldn't even really acknowledge the car until like later in the evening because I couldn't breathe. <laughs> but yeah, that's what he wanted me to tell y'all. He was like, well, I bought you a car, but you ruined it. 
You ruined the surprise. <laughs> All right, so we got the red chrome brushed in the top part. Now I'm gonna give <laughs> Ms. Joy, you are a hot mess. Thank you, everybody. Geneva, yes, he did. He took me to the urgent care in the new car. What I say, red, yellow, red? Okay. Yes, he did. Yep, I was in the front seat rolling around, screaming in pain. Um, for those that are beginners to bling, the rhinestones that I'm using, I get them from Eve. She is in the chat, um, the baby's booty. That's where I get my rhinestones from. And I do have it linked. So she has two. She has two stores or two options, purchase options. One is the buy now where you can buy, I mean the buy, I'm sorry, the buy in where you can buy large quantities in bulk at wholesale pricing. Um, you just have to wait a little bit longer for them, sometimes 30 days um, or most of the time it's 30 days for the buy in. And you guys, I'll put it in like big capital letters in the description box, buy in and buy now, because there is a difference. Um, the buy in only happens once a month. I think she keep it. She keeps it open somewhere between what, like seven to 10 days or something like that. Um, and then it's once a month. And then the buy now is available all the time it's but i think it's like a it's like a retail store you can go and you can buy um the colors that she has on hand and it's not all the colors so all the colors that are available like in the buy in aren't available in the buy now it's just you know what she keeps on hand but if you're looking to get started and you want some like basic colors Pretty sure she may have like crystal AB, you know, things like that. Um, you can definitely go to the buy now link that's in the description box and just get some stones. She also has like a beginner bling um, kit. I believe that comes with some stones and a template and um, maybe a few other little goodies to help you get started. That looks good. Um, and then yeah, that's where I get the uh, the rhinestones. And then if you're looking for something that is more like. How do I describe it? More like subscription based. My good sis Patrice has a bling box. Subscription. Patrice, can you go ahead and link your bling box? The bling box subscription is you subscribe to her, craft a bling box. 
you get a template, a shirt, some bling. And she sends it to you in this pretty packaged box so that you can make your um you can make your shirt. Um, and then she, you know, she does send you the, the template, right, Patrice? She sent the template, the rhinestones, the shirt. Did I see a candle before? It's, it, I saw when people were posting it in your group. Girl, did you have a candle in there too? Y'all get all types of goodies, okay? So if you're a beginner, there's there's definitely so many. Even Patrice also do um, beginners classes. If you're looking to des, to to de, oh my god, if you are looking to design, <laughs> they have a beginners class. Um, there's so many different options in this craft community for beginners. I just offer tutorials, okay? That's it. That's all I offer. I got a couple little designs and then, you know, some tutorials. Even Patrice are, you know, they got all the resources. I'm just the messenger. That's what I'm here for. I'm just the messenger. I just like blinging just like y'all. I'm taping down the sides here because this mat, and it's not all of them, but some of the mats that I use, they like curl up and I'm moving so slow. They curl up, but I don't really like that. So I'm just going to tape down the sides and we're going to brush in. This is um, Citrine AB. I was going to use regular Citrine, y'all. I don't have regular Citrine. I got to put that on my order list. Um, This is Citrine AB. This is one of my absolute favorites one of my absolute favorites um the best uni put me on this color back when we went to charlotte for the graphics pro expo when eve was speaking at the start here academy and we all had those mcquacken shirts what was that two years ago two three years ago that was when Uni put me on Citrine AB, and it has been one of my favorites ever since. The bag of chips and all that. <laughs> yep, yeah, two years ago. Dang, that means I've been blinging for a minute now. I remember when I first started. I've been blinging for over two years. Well, I, I had to have started that summer before that. It had to have been that same year. What are you guys working on tonight? Is anybody crafting? So, guess what, you guys? I got a new DTF printer. And I'm so excited. I just haven't been able to get it open. I was supposed to open it. I got it last week. <clears throat> I was supposed to get it like out the box last week, but then 
Because if you didn't notice, I didn't even post, like I had a live, but I didn't actually post a video last week because of the toe situation. Um, I had to, I had to sit down for a couple of days. Really, I should still be sitting down because my toe keeps swelling up. Um, but I was like, nope, I'm going to go live because I'm mostly sitting down. So it's fine. But, um, yeah, I was supposed to open it last week, but I'm a little behind now because of my toe situation. I had to sit down for a couple of days, couldn't do any work. So I'm hoping I have to finish up some videos for another product. I got a, um, it's the We Create. Uh, laser cutter. I got to finish up. Um, I have a video for that. I have to finish and then I'm going to get it open the DTF printer. But yes, I am so excited. Finally. If y'all can hear that printer in the background, that's that smaller DTF printer. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with that one. I know one of the whites is clogged. I gotta unclog it. I'm going to make me a shirt brilliant since 2021. Oh, I want that. Was it 2021 I, I was doing it too? It was either 2021 or... No, it might have been the following year. I don't remember. I'll have to look it up. Might have been 2022 for me. trying to make blinging a part of my life and the job. I'll never have to work again. That would be dope. Oh wait, I'm missing some stones up here. Can you pull the white ink from the waste tank? I'm not sure. I went to use it like maybe two months ago. Mm, not even. Maybe last month. And like some of the, like only one of the white tanks is clogged. The other one isn't. But when I printed, the white looked fine. But when I looked at um the little... Um, what is that thing called? The tube, the tube where the, the white, the, where the ink goes from the cartridge to the printer. I know one of them is clogged. I, you, I can clearly see it. It's clogged, but the other one isn't. But when I made the when I printed out the print, it um the white looked good. But I know if I'm gonna do something with it, like give it away or sell it or whatever the case may be, I gotta unclog it first for sure. I just I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with it.
this giveaway is going to be on a um on a Bella Canvas shirt. I know the last couple of times I had Gildan, but I don't have any more. So it's going to be on a Bella Canvas 100% cotton shirt. And I do craft for a living, pretty much. Pretty much. I don't necessarily sell like uh, physical products, like finished t-shirts. I mean, I might sell a few here or there, um, especially for like family and friends, because I did used to sell them um, when I first started. So I do have some customers that I used to work with that are kind of like, when I tried to stop selling shirts, basically like, like this one girl, I used to work with her. Um, when I had a nine to five, I used to work in a call center and, uh, that's where I met her at. And she used to order like all her shirts for me back when I did shirts. <laughs> and, um, when I stopped selling, you know, she was trying to be respectful of the fact that I don't sell anymore. And she tried to go to somebody else for a shirt. And I think one time she got scammed. And then it was another time the shirt that was given to her was like terrible. So one day she texted me, she was like, Angel, I'm going to be so honest with you. I tried. I tried to respect the fact that you said you don't sell anymore. But I'm out here fighting for my life when it comes to t-shirts. <laughs> she was like, I won't tell anybody you made my shirt, but can you please make my shirt? She had, I think it was like a birthday shirt for her daughter or something. So... I told her, I was like, okay, don't tell nobody I made your shirt and I will continue making shirts for you, for you. So, and there's a couple people like that. Like I make them for my family, you know, whenever they need a shirt, they'll obviously call or text me and I'll make some stuff for them too. Um, but other than that, I don't, um. I don't like sell for real. I sell digital files. All right. I know I'm moving slow, but that's okay. Uh, this might be too short. Let's see. Oh, no. That's going to fit. That is going to fit. Sorry if that was loud. Mm. Y'all, I missed this corner by like one stone. Is the design you're working on the same one you're wearing? Yep, it is. This I'm giving this shirt away. So I like to test out my templates before um, I go live just to make sure they're right. So typically I always end up, you know, making a shirt for myself. And I did it again down here. I typically always make a shirt for myself. And then when I come on live, I'll make another one and just give it away. Yep, David, I have a um I have a craft office. I have a suite that's like outside of my home. I got too many kids. 
I can't craft in my house. They get in my stuff. They get in my stuff. I actually low key just I don't have any room either. Like we just had a contractor come out to see if we can get some areas of the house finished to make, you know, more livable space. Like our basement, we got to finish our basement. It's mostly finished. We just have a bathroom down there we got to get finished. So, we need more space. Where is the backing for that? Alrighty. And we still have the me versus me template to brush in. Y'all, what time is it? 8.30? We're going to be here a little bit longer today. But that's okay. Alright. And then we got the I am. I am doing this in neon green. See your quiet. What y'all up to? What are you guys up to? My toe situation was my story time for today. I normally have a story time, a funny story time. I don't have a funny one this time. This neon green is really pretty too. Oh, Brady. Is there any beginners still watching? Type in the word beginner if you're a beginner. And then let me know, like, was the process of cutting out the template, did it seem like it looked easy? Uh oh, I got it for stone. Okay, so Denisa is a beginner. Shonda's a beginner. Mary, just country girl. Cheryl, Denise. So does the does the process of making templates does it look easy? You guys, why did my sister send me a reel the other day? It was actually of a girl that I've been watching lately. She does embroidery and she does, um, I think the process is called applique where she uses the HTV, like glitter HTV and then embroiders over it. Don't, if, if, I'm, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but I think it's called applique. You guys correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I can't think of her name on Instagram. But she does it a lot. 
And then the last color I'm using for this template for the word black is going to be black diamond. But um, she does like a lot of it and she made a shirt. It was like an Alabama shirt. It looked and she used white glitter, red glitter, and she embroidered over it. And then she put something, it was like an emblem or it was like a mascot, I think, on the on the sleeve. It, it looks so good. And one of my sisters sent me that reel and was like Angel 2.0. Because she wants me to start embroidery. If I got into embroidery, I'm telling you guys, that's that's probably what I would be doing. I would probably be real heavy in the glitter applique department with the glitter HTV because I already use it a lot. Or can you use can you do applique with like holographic? See, I would be trying all of that. I don't want to buy a machine though. They seem expensive. I don't know. Maybe I'll buy one and make Patrice and Eve and Evelyn. I said Evelyn. I have a sister named Evelyn. I don't even know why I just said that. Uh, Eve, come um, come on live and help me get going. Maybe. I don't know. Don't y'all hop in my DMs and ask me when am I going to go live doing embroidery. Because I said maybe. I'm, I'm like Delanda right now. My embroidery machine is in a secret secret spot but I don't know where the secret spot is so that's between the embroidery machine and the Lord not even me I'm not even a part of that I'm going to check the comments in one second, you guys. I'm just trying to get this template up. Easy, but only cheap one. Okay. Oh, damn, she know who I'm talking about on Instagram. I'm always looking at her videos. Her stuff, her embroidery designs are so cute. Absolutely love it. Yeah, the embroidery machines are definitely an investment. So, oops, I put that on the wrong side. Oh, well. It's embroidery is definitely one of those things. This this is the end of that one. Now we got a brush in this one. I don't even know. 
let me go grab, I have to go grab a hoodie. I want to put this on a sweatshirt or a hoodie. Okay. All right, save. I want to keep this one for myself. And I have this. I know you kind of can't, the camera's not really picking it up. It looks really, really light. Let me see. There, now you can see a little bit more of the true color. It's a yellow, like a light yellow, because my brand colors are like a light yellow and a blush. So. I got this hoodie from Bella Canvas. You guys, this, this hoodie is so soft. It's 52% cotton, 48% poly. It's really, really soft. It's the, from the Bella Canvas, Bella and Canvas Fleece Collection. But I want to put it on here. And I'm thinking I want to do some pink as well. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna add you. I'm gonna add back my iPad so we can go look at the bling and see what I can add on here. All right. So here's my bling little thingamabob. I guess I don't know. Uh oh. Hold on, y'all. All right, hold on. I accidentally exited out of the iPad. Okay. Okay. So maybe you can see it a little bit better over here. Okay. Yeah, you can. Oh, see the color of the sweatshirt. It's like a, it's like a, a light yellow, it's like a light yellow. Um, and my brand colors, like I said, are this light yellow color and like a blush pink. So I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking for the outline. I'm thinking for the outline, I'm going to do icicles. I'm thinking for the top and the bottom ombre part. I'm thinking light rose. Yes, no. I'm thinking light rose. I'm thinking light rose. What y'all think? And pink oval. For the other ombre part. And then for the verses, maybe jet black, or should I do Labrador? David, it's definitely French vanilla. That's the name of the color. What you guys think? Icicles on the outline, light rose, pink opal, and then for the verses, jet black. On this French vanilla, it's like a light yellow. That The official color is French vanilla. I think I'm going to go with it. Yellow. Yellow. 
And what do I always say? It's for me. So it don't matter because it's for me. I need a template that says that. It's for me. No, it's for F A. It's for me. It's for me. I think that's gonna look good though. Where am I gonna put this? I'm gonna put this up here for right now. Okay. Um, let me see. I'm gonna start with I'm gonna start with the outline. I'm going to do icicles on the outline. I think the icicles is going to look really good. You got neon red AB. That sounds fire. I don't have that one. Oh, I forgot to mention, hopefully y'all, nobody went and bought it, but um, I did make this template available to my members. It's in the community tab. So if you guys just go, anybody who's a member on the channel, just go to the community tab and you should be able to download it. When you click on the link, you do have to push download. It's a it's a um, like a Google Drive link. And then if you guys make this template, post it in my Facebook group so I can see it. I know I'm kind of quiet and just kind of got lost in brushing. Um, I'm pretty sure my Facebook group is linked in the description box. I can't remember. up a little bit. I have been waiting to do this. Well, wanting, not waiting because I never got around to it, but wanting to do this template for a while. This is such a nice template. And I don't have this one linked either. I forgot to link it. I will link it before um, I leave the office. Does anybody have any questions about um, like any of the beginners about cutting a template? I 
I ordered some more um, brick too. I ordered some of the like neon kind of colors, the fluorescent colors. I gotta get, make a video with some of that brick. It looks really, really nice. I love brick. Where is my pen? Here it is. Y'all went home. I was at the office all day today. And normally on Mondays, I'll be in the office all day. And then I'll leave at like 4 and go home, eat dinner, uh, see the kids for a little bit. Because they get out of school at 4.30. See the kids and then come back up to the office and stuff. And I made some, um, I made some red beans and rice yesterday. For Sunday dinner with some honey cornbread. And I made the mistake of going home and eating some. I almost canceled no live. So I could go to sleep. That raisin red beans and rice almost put me down. I ain't had no business going home eating that. I need to get the proper pressure for the Cricut Silhouette and Julia. I bought some brick for the first time today at Joanne's. The brick does take a thicker cut. I mean, a thicker pressure. It's very, very thick. I cut mine pretty high. The pressure pretty high. What's the average design size? Somewhere between, I would say, 9 to 11 inches. I know mine stay between like 10 and 11 inches wide. And then the... The length is, you know, whatever it defaults to, typically. Uh-oh. Not my battery about to die. Hold on. There we go. Miss Joy, I love red beans and rice. It's one of my favorite. Things to cook. It's one of my favorite things to eat. And what's funny is that I I'll get red beans and rice like from like other places and I never like it. I never like it. I only like mine. So I've made my red beans and rice a couple different ways. Yesterday I tried it a different way. Normally I do um like smoked turkey. But yesterday, I decided to try it a little different. I put, I did ground turkey and dually sausage and some chorizo. And I really liked it. The chorizo made it, so I normally don't like like, I'm not big on spicy food, so I normally don't make my red beans and rice, like, real spicy or anything like that. But I added some chorizo to it, and um, it gave it a little kick. But it wasn't, like, it wasn't too, too bad. But my husband loves chorizo, so that was why I had decided to um 
to add a, to add some chorizo to it, like the ground chorizo. I just mix, mixed it with the ground turkey. All right, that's the outline. I'm going to do, where's my jet black? Here it is. I'm going to do jet black on the verses. Really, how, um, just country girl, how do you guys, how do you make it? How do you make yours? I try, I like trying, um, different recipes. I don't like, um, I don't like to stick with one recipe unless it's like, I don't know, like, like greens. Like, I don't, I have one recipe for greens. I don't, I don't shy away. I either use ham hocks or I use smoked turkey. That's it. I don't I don't really mess with nothing else. If if the ham hocks is gone, then I go with smoked turkey and that's just what I use. Um, but like with the red beans and rice, I'll play with the recipe a little bit. Like chili, I'll play with my chili recipe a little bit and try different stuff just to see if I like it this way or if I want to add it this way. Um, add this or take away that or whatever. Sometimes I might want a little little kick on it. Sometimes I might not. So like when it comes to like my chili or my red beans and rice, you know, stuff like that, I might play with the recipe a little bit. I'm just waiting on somebody to come and be like, I didn't know you could cook. I don't know. I guess a lot of people don't think I can cook. I ain't even going to try to assume why. But I know what I'm doing a little, little bit. Why do you stick the cover to your shirt to your shirt? Because every time I go to place my treasure. So Michelle, I do that to take away some of the stickiness. When I cut a brand new piece of transfer tape, um, when you go to put it down, sometimes it gets staticky. Um, or sometimes it's just too sticky and it messes up your stones that you've already brushed in. So I put it on my shirt. If it's a brand new piece of transfer tape, I put it on my shirt just to remove some of the static and remove some of the stickiness so that it doesn't mess up my stones when I go to pick them up. That's all there is to call it. Smacking. Yeah, that's it. I don't, I don't really, you know, I don't mess with the greens recipe. You see, one or the other, and that's it. Problem, Marilyn. I've been wanting to use this template for a while. Yep, yeah, it's pork. It's a chorizo. Is a um. 
Mexican sausage. It's kind of spicy. Well, depending on how much you use. Oh, one of my diamonds, two, three of my diamonds popped off. See, this is why I stick it on my shirt. I didn't stick it on my shirt good enough. Sticky, sticky, sticky. All right, I got to fix it now because it was a little too sticky. And I just use my wax pen so when I, you know, the diamonds, you know, sometimes, I mean, the diamonds, the rhinestones, sometimes they can flip, you know, flip over on themselves or not come up all the way. But anytime you have to like use or fix your rhinestones, you can just use a wax pen to do it. All right, that one looks, looks okay. All right, y'all, we are almost ready to start pressing. I got two, two more layers here. Yeah, that piece of transfer tape was sticky. I should have put it on my shirt a little bit longer. That's too far up. Okay, so this is for the, this is gonna be the <clears throat> inside pieces. Um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do pink opal. This is pink opal. This is like a um, a pastel kind of rhinestone color. It's still real, real blinky though, but it's like a pastel color. Y'all, I hope this looks good on this on this yellow hoodie. I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared. But well, we're here now. Can't go back. Hey, everybody popping in, everybody in the bushes. Y'all don't forget to like the video.
Y'all, I zone out when I'm brushing. Zone out. I think brushing in stones is like so therapeutic. Um, Michelle, each color is a different price. It depends on um, it depends on the color. It depends on um, I get the two hundred and fifty gross, um, and like some of the eighty colors, they range. So they, I want to say they range from like um, what's the lowest price one? Maybe fifty dollars. I don't. I don't quote me on that. I'm not for sure how much the 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 lowest price one, like um, a crystal stone. Um, but they can range any, you know, from range in price. The the more blingier colors, like the AB colors, um, or the real like specialty colors, um, are more expensive than maybe like um a, a Siam or a uh, crystal, those are going to be a little less expensive than, let's say, like a champagne AB. Or maybe like the metal lights, because some of the metal, the metal lights are like a, um, a two-tone kind of color. So I think those are on the you know a little bit more expensive as well than some of the solid colors. But they definitely range based off of color. All right. Can you change the rhinestone template back to a SVG in design space? I have a rhinestone template that I want to use for a birthday card. Uh, no. Olive Mason, you would have to remake it. doing this why am i doing this in the lid crazy 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 i've had these opals for a Oh wow, I have some of the other colors as well. I have to use them more. I think now that I think about it, I remember seeing somebody ask me a question about if I use if I only use SS tens. And I don't remember if I ever answered it. But I'm getting into the SS6s. I have a few colors, but not a whole lot. I will say though. In regards to like like when I'm making a design, I have noticed that like sorry if that was loud. I have noticed that like the SS6 designs for some reason to me they just tend to look cleaner. I 
cut this too big, but that's okay. So because I cut this too big, I'm going to flip this over like that. left behind you would think with as sticky as this dog on tape is I wouldn't have any left behind Alrighty, we got one more to brush in and then we can get to pressing. And for this one, we are using light, light rose. I love light rose too. Light rose, it's not... So I love AB colors and light rose isn't even an AB color, but look how blingy that is. Light rose is one of those colors where it blings and it's not even, it blings like an AB, but it's not even an AB. Oh, I forgot this had a, a flock dot. So for those that are in the chat, if I always on my live try to ask at least one like little question or whatever, if you could only do one craft for the rest of your life, what would it be? Bling would be considered like a craft. Laser cutting. Vinyl, working with vinyl, DTF. Sewing, embroidery. Those are like examples of one craft. If you could only do one, for the rest of your life, what would it be?
sewing, sublimation, quilting, acrylic milestone rounds. I did those once. I made some for a friend that was having a baby like two years ago. And I never did it again. Sewing, blinging, BTF, embroidery, bling. I think for me, I think I would have to go vinyl. Well, I guess it would depend. So if I was just making stuff like how I do now for myself, I would go vinyl. If I had to sell it to make a living, that might be the day I do embroidery. But I think first choice I would pick vinyl crafting. DTF scrapbooking, embroidery. Reese t shirts. Mm. <laughs> I agree with embroidery standing the test of time. That's why I said if it was like something I had to sell, like to make a living. I'll probably go embroidery. I, I feel like I feel like embroidery is one of those things where it'll just always make money. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It'll just always make money, even though I don't even do it. I don't do it because I don't sell anything. And I've just always have felt like if I got into embroidery, I would need to start selling things. Which is why, you know, I just haven't got. Y'all, oh my gosh, I am dropping stones. But that's why I haven't gotten into embroidery because the, the machines are, you know, so expensive. I just always felt like if I get into it, you know, I need to start selling stuff. But if I needed to make some money, like make a living off of crafting and one craft only, I, I think it would. I would, you know, learn embroidery. DTF will be good at making money too, though. I don't know. It might be tied with embroidery. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Y'all, my stones. Some of my stones. Not the template messing up or the stones messing up on the last, the last one. That one flipped over. Okay, that's all right. I saved it. Oh, 
All right. I did have one stone right here. Turn over. Oh! Yeah, my little thing came out. There we go. The wax part of my pen flew off. And it just flew off again. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and add my iPad back. Because we are going to get to pressing. Can you guys still hear me? Can you guys still hear me? Sorry, y'all. I'm hobbling my toe. My toe, my toe, my toe. And I don't have my boot on, so I'm hobbling. I'm hobbling, I'm hobbling. Hobbling, wobbling. All right. Yes, yes, yes. You can hear me? Okay, perfect. Oh, thank you, Marilyn. Um, okay, so this is going to be the giveaway shirt. Um, It's a Bella Canvas, size large. Uh, where's the camera? Right here. Yep, size large, Bella Canvas. It is, I believe, 100%. Yep, 100% cotton. So I just like to tell people what the material is. You know, you never know if somebody's allergic to something. So um, if you are interested in this giveaway, it's 100% cotton. Why is my lint roller looking crazy? Okay. Since I'm giving this one away, I'm going to do it right. I got something on it. What is that? I don't think I'm going to use this shirt. It got something white on it. Oh, there we go. I got it. Looks like a weird piece of lint. Like entangled in the fabric. There we go. All right, so I have my heat press set to um, 350 degrees for 12 seconds. I'm gonna do a quick pre-press. Okay, and then I'm going to line this up over here so that I can get it straight. Because for whatever reason, when I line things up on my heat press, it's never straight. It's always crooked. 
So I'm gonna line it up on my table and then I will bring it back to the heat press. But I just wanna make sure it's nice and straight because we are where I am giving this away. And this design is pretty big too. All right, that's the outline, which is the winter green. All right, there's the outline. I was just reading the comments. Trying to, trying to stay caught up. It's kind of, sometimes it gets a little hard trying to, you know, craft and keep up with the, uh, the comments. Okay. So, there's the outline. And... One of my stones just came off my template, but that's okay. Off the transfer, but it's all right. I'll just hand place it. But what I was saying earlier, if you use this, if you brush the two history words in the way that the template comes in, it does line up perfectly. So you can press all four colors at the same time. It lines up. So you can do it all in one press Let's make sure it's nice and straight all right ouch it's hot and this is the red um chrome and the citrine a b Mm, 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 mm. That looks amazing. Mm, okay, the stone goes right there. I see right where it goes. All right, the next layer we are pressing is the black diamond. And the heat press is still at 350. Um, Olive, yes, I did. This is the, um, I'm doing the same design on this shirt as well. But I did make this design. This rhinestone template is in my Etsy shop as well as last week I did this in vinyl. I did it in puff and glitter vinyl. And then 
our last layer here is the neon green. Same time temperature. One of my stone, my neon green stones, was turned over the wrong way. And I did not catch it. Ouch. Hot. I may mean, even, you know what? Nope. I ain't even, nope. 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 I need another green, uh, neon green. Give me one second. Why my husband just texted me and said the lab going too long? How long we been on here? Uh, two and a half hours? Oh well. Okay, there we go. Oh well, oh well. If he's not going to come in here and assist me with brushing of these stones, he needs to mind his business. That's what I say. I don't know about y'all. If he's not going to come in and be my assistant. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to tell him. Who else going to brush in all these phones? Okay, there we go. All right, and there's our ooh, 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 ooh. so this is the one that I am giving away. We got winter green on the outline. We got red chrome, citrine A B, black diamond, neon green, red chrome, citrine A B. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and press this hoodie. This is the one, um, I mean, I'm going to press it, but I don't know about these colors I picked. I was trying to stay on brand. You guys, I love the color of this hoodie. I really do. This is the Bella Canvas. It's French Vanilla. And it's so soft. I really love this color. After the impressions at Expo last month, I made a um, creator's account and I have went on there and ordered a bunch of different different colors because I do use a lot of black, but I wanted to get into some, you know, different colors. And then I saw this yellow and I'm like, my brand color is, you know, yellow and blush. All right, I'm gonna do a quick pre-press. Thank you guys. All right. 
I'm lining it up on the press. It's probably going to be crooked, but it's for me. So that's okay. The icicles already look really good on this yellow. I'm excited. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. The icicles look really good, y'all. OMG. Oh, here I go. I thought I lost it. All right, I'm going to do the light, light rose. Nice and lined up correctly. Y'all, this press is so hot. Okay, my transfer tape I just put down is hot already. This press is hot. It is hot. Let me make sure it's nice and lined up. I want this hoodie to be perfect. And then I got to put Angel B on here. I think I have another one this color too. I got to put my uh, logo on here. That looks so... Y'all. Yeah. I'm going to look at the... Uh... The comments in one second. Uh oh, one of my opals did not stick. It's okay because I still gotta press the black diamond layer. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, it don't have no glue on the back of that one. Sometimes every now and then you'll get a rhinestone that doesn't have any adhesive on it. But all you got to do is just, you know, I just get, just get another stone. And just place it in there. It's no, no big deal. There we go. Yeah, that Taylor Swift song, Karma, has been stuck in my head all day. Oh, this is so cute. Mm, 
Mm-hmm. I love it. Yep, I love it. Let me turn this hot press off. I'm going to show you guys over there in a the good light. But that pink on this yellow, oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. I'm going to show you guys over there. Let's go over there. Okay, so this is the first one. Mm. Okay, this is the first one we did it. I mean, that we did, which is the same shirt that I'm wearing, but this is we're doing a giveaway on this one. Um, I know somebody's going to ask again, just to reiterate, it was winter green on the outline, red chrome, citrine AB, black diamond, neon green, red chrome, citrine AB. And this design is in my description box. It's in my Etsy shop. We have the rhinestone. I have in a rhinestone template. I also have it in the SVG um file for like a uh, vinyl, which is what I did last week. But I'll be giving this one away in just a minute. And then this is the hoodie I just did. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let me see. If I turn this away, because you guys aren't seeing like, like this yellow looks darker. I mean, this, yeah, this yellow looks darker in, um, in person. It looks a little bit darker. So like on the camera, it's, it's picking the color of the hoodie is picking up a little bit lighter, but that's okay. But the color of the hoodie is French vanilla. It's like a light yellow, but it's not like a pale yellow, how it looks on the camera. But anyways, the pink on this yellow, I absolutely love it. So we did icicles on the outline. We did light rose on the top. And do y'all see that light rose? Remember what I was saying? Light rose blings like it's AB, but it's not. Light Rose be doing its thing, okay? And then we have the opal pink and we have jet black. I love this. 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 This this is for me. Maybe I'll do another one and give it away, but this one is for me. I love this. I'm going to make the I have another yellow this color. I'll probably do my logo in the pink. But I love this. I love this. Yeah, I love this. This is one of my favorites. This, this color combo is so pretty. All right. So that is what we did for today. I am obsessed with this color. I'm going to try to take a picture of it and put it in the community and see if I can get the true yellow, the French vanilla yellow. Um, so y'all can see it for real because the, the camera is picking it up. It looks it looks um, pale, but it's not. It's it's light yellow, but it's not pale yellow. Exactly, Patrice. Um, I can't I can't get rid of that one. 
I love that one. That's the first time I've used yellow. I like that. I like that. Okay, I'm going to scroll a little bit, see if I missed any questions. I know you guys are in the chat <clears throat> answering questions. I'm going to just scroll a little bit. I think that's... Mm -hmm. All right, I don't see any questions. If there was a question like that you seriously need answered, go ahead. Now is the time to go ahead and ask it again. Sharita, the file is in my, um, well, which one? The, it, the I Am Black History is linked down below. It's in my Etsy shop. The Me Versus Me is in Marilyn's shop. Marilyn, can you, um, can you link your shop? The me versus me is Marilyn's um, template. And then the I am black history is mine. Alrighty. Has she, Marilyn? You need the... <laughs> Girl, I'm not giving away this hoodie. Not this one. Not this time. <clears throat> Did you make your own settings for the rhinestone template? Um, yes. For the flock, I made my own settings. Um, the settings I use, and again, <coughs> I've said this before, but when it comes to like cutting flock. It really depends on because we can't, there's no setting for the blade depth. The blade depth is wherever you set it. So, you know, if my blade is farther out than yours, then the settings may be different. But I can tell you what my settings were. And I guess you can kind of maybe start there and adjust it as you see fit. But my settings are, I, I have my speed on 10. And then my um, force is on 65 and I cut with a mat, which is also important. If you cut without a mat, I think your pressure is going to have to be lighter. Um, and if you cut with a mat, your pressure will be heavier. Um, I cut with the mat. So my force is on 65 and then my pressure, I mean, my speed is on 10. All right. It is getting late. It's 10 o'clock. I still have to go pick Gavin up from my mom's house, which is down the street. So let's go ahead and do this giveaway. And let's get out of here. Let me see. I should have the giveaway thing pulled up, but I don't. Stream your giveaway. <clears throat> Y'all, I just be making up words. <laughs> See, and I can't even spill. There we go. Let me make sure I mean C R O M E. Okay. Because I thought I misspelled that word like three times. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and give this away. Again, this is a Bella Canvas 100% cotton large shirt, size large. Um, The word is chrome. C R, I'm sorry, C H R O M E. Share screen. Why is my thing not coming up? There we go. All right, C H R O M E, Chrome. Chrome is the word for the giveaway. Oh, my 
toes starting to hurt. I think my Motrin is wearing off. Toe is throbbing. All right, I'm going to give you guys a couple more seconds for, you know, the people who might be a little behind in the chat or just a little behind on the live. All right, I'm going to go ahead and press draw. Good luck, everybody. All right, Soini, I hope I'm not butchering that name. I'm sorry if I did, but congratulations. Stop share. Congratulations. Oh, let me put my email address up here. All right, there is my email address. Are you still here? Okay, perfect. Um, go ahead and send me an email with your mailing address um, and I will get this out to you this week. But that's all we have for tonight. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. This is longer than what I normally do, but I know you guys are used to long lives because Patrice does, them, does long lives. Um, but I appreciate you guys for being here. I really, really do. Next week, I will be here um, next Monday, 7. I'm not sure what craft we'll be doing next week. Maybe laser, maybe not. I don't know. Um, but yeah. I will see you all next week. Have a good night.